Morning, evening, afternoon, everyone, wherever you may be in the world. Uh, I thought I'd put this up on so everyone knows what's actually inside a plasma screen, flat screen TV. Um, this is a Samsung model PS58C7000 YF. Um, I tested it, no screen come on. So I've had the liberty of um, getting this and uh, undoing all the screws. I've actually just detached the cord. There's only a little plastic piece here. Um, and yeah, so I thought, well, I might make a video out of this, see what's actually inside them. So, but anyway, welcome to our everyday living. And uh, cord is detached. We'll just sit that aside for now. I'll deal with the cord later. Let's see what we got. Like I said, I've done undone all the backing screws and that sort of thing. So let's find out what we've got inside. I do use these uh, for lining big thousand litre water pods. Oh, I missed a screw. I actually missed a screw. I did actually miss one. Oop, wrong way. Put that in the steel. So let's see what we got. Sheet steel. Um, let me just sit this over here for now. Oh wow, we got some goodies in here. They'd be gold plated, uh, things like that, like all your connections down here, all up the side here. They maybe gold plated. Um, I've started a little bin where I've got gold plated all within all the computers in behind the mesh there. There's a hole, that is all computer stuff. Um, it's just unreal what I've got there in computers, besides the can some of the cans that I'm still collecting, washing machines in the background. Uh, but yeah, that's all computer stuff. This is my um, stuff I'm collecting for gold plated. It's not much there at the moment. It's only a little bit. We'll just sit that there for now. What I mean by gold plated, it's got some, where's this one? Yeah, it's on the ribbons in there, uh, on that one. Uh, this one here, it's all the way down there, gold plate there, and all the way down there, like I was saying, it's got it all over that one. Um, still got some here with extruded alloy on. I've left, the, left it all intact. This was a, another TV that I'd done. Uh, all of them have got gold plated on them, on their connections. So I thought I'd leave it as one. It's not much of a board, but I usually throw them in scrap metal. So I thought I'd make a bin up, leave it all intact. Here's another one, like I was just saying, all the extruded alloys are already still on it. I may get two and take it all apart and get the extruded off it. I don't know whether it'll degrade the board or not. But um, I'd be more selling it uh, for gold recovery. So that's what I would do with those. Um, and that's why I've gone into collecting these TVs. More for gold recovery. There's not much in them, but you can get a hell of a lot of copper out of them and extruded alloy. Like you look at this board over here, it's a fairly big board. It's two boards there, uh, three boards. One there and one there, they interlock all into one. Um, that's how they make these boards. Well, you got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bits of extruded alloy there. Uh, what else are we going to get out of that? That's about all that I can actually see. It's just a bit of foam. Um, but yeah, oh, a little bit, of, two bits of copper up there, and that's about all in that side. Another one there. Oh, there's, there's some there. There's three, six, seven little bits of copper so you don't get much out of it um but more more for gold recovery that's why i'm grabbing these and you've got a whole heap of copper there another bit there there whole heap of transformers in there um if they haven't got the transformer they're not going to work anyway so anyway let's get to get cutting start off with the blade leave all this intact i might um have a look to see if it has got the um gold plate in there first before I go cutting how's that one come out 
every TV is different, so you never know what you're doing. Come on. Whether you come out of there or not, I don't know. There we go. Yeah, see, that's got the gold plate on it. That ribbon. Um, it may be in there as well, so I'll leave it all intact. So that way it's all in there. Uh, send the board as one one item that way they can recover what they want to recover so what I do with that just a Stanley knife straight down the center there that's all I do that's that side come this side probably the same probably we'll have a look anyway this, this ribbon's got gold gold in it too but um, you got to think on how much you're going to go to to actually get it so it's a matter of just have a look that one hasn't damn well where is the pins the pins have got gold plates on them yeah the pin across there Right across that section there, it's got the cold plate on it. So we'll leave it all intact. Less hassle I have to worry about. Just slice that down there. Most of, it's a fairly heavy TV too. Oh, I'm estimating probably 30, 40 kilos. The whole TV. Doesn't tell you the weight on these things. Manufacture date. Here we go. I've got a manufacture date. Uh, 2010. 13th of the 7th, 2010. So she's pretty old. So it won't matter. Um, surprising when they started putting gold in TVs. It's unreal. Uh, do that one there. I don't try not to hang on to too many as I possibly can. Uh, debatable whether to cut that. We'll leave it as one. Hmm, debate, debate, debate. Anyway, I don't think we will cut it. I've got to get a little flat screwdriver, which we have. So we can undo, undo we do. Clip that up. That comes apart there. Undo the screws. I like to go through and pull all these up first. That way they're done, I can just pull the board straight out. Alright, I'll leave that one on there. Take that one off there, that's the bigger board. Damn fly annoying me. I don't hang on to the speakers. There's not much in the speaker itself, uh, so I don't worry about them. I leave them on the actual backing of the system, so yeah. Uh, that one goes to that board, so that can come up. There is some aluminium in here as well. There's a piece going across the bottom. Then you've got your sound, all your touch bar and everything down the bottom here. Your little tweeter speakers underneath. Anyway, let's start unscrewing, I suppose. That's about all we can do. That's a block. That can, I think that's alloy. Test of that. No, that's plastic. Fantastic plastic. That there, that there. Oh, that's go through and just unscrew a whole heap of screws. Have a screw and good time. Need a magnetic tip. Got any questions just put them below please to answer them very pleased to answer them I might even get to and with these circuit boards take the extruded alloy off and the copper um, because they're fairly big boards 
there is a lot of gold recovery on these like in this section here you've got a whole heap of little dimplets um, so yeah it's just the way, way I'm going to do this one that off there that off there that can stay under that pull that off there that one off there any of the wire that's in these I don't worry about I'd leave it attached Come on, not playing with, stop playing with me, come off, there you go, I actually made a table out of a fridge, pulled the motor out and uh, yeah, made a decent workbench, pretty good, recycle, reuse, uh, one more, I thought that was a good, good idea. So the small bench I got over there, I wanted a bigger bench. What's holding it? Not a screw there. Still more screws holding that. Where? Oh where? There. You're probably yelling at me. There it is, yeah, there it is. Oh, where's the other one? Come on. Show me where it is. Nothing's holding it. That sticky pad. Interesting board, that one. Very interesting. All right. That's got the gold on that one. Gold pins down inside there. Take that bit of tin off that. Tin, is it? I think it might be. <sighs> Tell on by those little ones there. fiddly bolts see how lucky I can be no nope, not so lucky they're finally actually um, getting off the subject of this TV but they're finally actually pumping water out of our lake at the moment it's going down pretty quick probably about 10 centimeters every night so that's a win for us Right, set that aside, put that up here, finish dealing with this. That one can come off. Gonna grain, gain more ground for mowing. Get this board off as well. It's been good while the water's been up actually. Takes me a good three days to mow this place. Three days solid. Right. We should be able to take that apart. There we go. All right, well that can go directly in the bucket. This one here, I'm, like I said, I might take those Extruded alloys off Undo some of the screws June's doing well she may be down later don't know she's been helping me out down here stripping out wire and things like that you might have seen her in some of the videos and that's all of those and we'll leave the rest for later 
they got none holding and just sit that there it certainly opens it out like all these little posts they're they're in aluminium but um to go through and take all of them off it's not really worth it so you leave it with the, the actual sheet um this sheet i'll probably use the same as what i'm doing with that one use it to line the uh crates out there this is a bit of heavy steel i'm taking off fair chunk here that's a heavy piece that that's a real heavy piece no wonder it's so goddamn heavy Let that there all right we did start along here i'm gonna take that one off first Sometimes it surprises me what's actually in these. What am I missing? Did I miss one? Must have. Underneath here, there's another one there. Go in there with those. Bend that in half. That's going as inner steel. good old steel bin. Get this piece of aluminium off. Might as well keep going. Put the screws. Hands getting full. Mm -hmm. One in the sander. Get those cuts in there. Get that bit of tin off that. Empty the hand out, I reckon. I reckon so I'm losing them all. Yep, that's all free. Free as a bird. Right, this alloy should be free. Held on somewhere. Somewhere's got it. Here we go. Good piece of aluminium. Sit that there. I'm gonna go along and undo these bits. Lot of screws, a lot, a lot, lots. Well, we've got some ribbon across here that we've got to undo. We've got to cut it. Do, 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 do. So it is worthwhile doing a flat screen plasma because uh, you get a lot of steel out of them. Uh, gold recovery as well, if you're into that. I'm not into it, I just thought I'd try and save some. Who we got coming around here? Another boat. Another boot, another butt, the old fishing, fishing term, a butt. Uh, slice that there, slice that there. 
Yeah, that's off. That'll do. Don't have to be precise. As long as it comes off, you leave your gold in there. Miss the screw. Always missing one. Oh, they're all up. Good to go. They haven't got, they haven't got the gold on them. Nope. Is this the one? Nope. So they can come off. Nope. They can go into steel. And get something out of it when they put it in through the steel. That's got nothing on it. It's got the gold plate in it, yes, yeah, so I can see the fleck just slightly down inside there without having to take it out. Where are you going, bro? Come in and going out again. I don't know where he's going. It is a ski club, this place. Get a lot of members coming in, non-members as well. There we go, they can go into that, they can go this away, into there, pull this one off now. It's real surprising on what you can get out of these. Yes, there's a fair bit in that. Leave that all intact. Even got a few gold pins there. I don't know what all these circuit circuits are or anything like that. Might be some gold recovery on the back as well. Yeah. Probably in those little ones there. I don't know. Not sure myself. Ah, oh, geez, that's a big piece of aluminium. I'd like to try and get that off. If I could. How is that held on? It's probably glued on or something. Or riveted on. Look, like these rivets here. I'd probably have to get a drill and drill those out. And I'll get around to that later, I reckon. Get that piece of alloy off. If it's too much trouble, I'll leave it and, yeah, proceed to other things. Uh, this one here was off, wasn't it? Yes, it's off. Oh, come on. Off you come. Thank you. Now, that should come apart. In the centre. Probably glued together. There we go, we've got some movement. Come on. I don't want to break it. Even though I'm not putting it back together. Scrapping it out. Come on bro, come apart. Do what I want you to do, not what you want to do. Stay together. Get a bigger item. I haven't got a bigger item. Yeah, I've got a bigger item. Here we go. Getting nasty now. There we go. 
then that should just pull apart hopefully I hope there we go there we go so there's nothing on that that I wouldn't want to take off put them into there that one I do want to take off I'll leave the screws there's a fair bit of weight in it I know by taking the heat sinks off uh, the extruded alloy it does take the weight down but I've got a whole heap of aluminium I want to add to um, I'd rather do that because I don't know how much I'll get for these boards if I get anything really it's all trial and error the last lot of boards I took over I got nothing for they went straight into the scrap metal straight into a shred so and I had a full wheelie bin full so that's a fair bit and now I circle boards out of washing machines they're all there there's one right down the bottom down there he hasn't come out Come on, there we go. Do, 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 do. Got that one. Can go there. Take this off. Sit that up there. Sitting all that sort of stuff up there, it's out of the road, so I can process the rest of this screen and whatever's left. Clear the bench down, you could say. That way I've got the bench to work on the board. Completely process everything. Go through, show you what I'm going to take off, what I don't take off. One more there. Another one somewhere there. Up there. I know um, if I took this to a different state, uh, say down to a fella that does do a bit of rock gold recovery and that sort of thing, he's on YouTube, uh, won't mention his channel, but um, he, he does a lot of electrical stuff and that sort of thing. I don't mind watching him, he's pretty good actually. Uh, but yeah, if you want to know what his channel is, I'll put it put it in a comment if, it, if someone asks that way you can go look him up he's got his own business where he does a lot of electrical stuff so but he doesn't deep he does depopulate some of the boards but not a lot of the boards um, he gets a lot of computer stuff and all that so that can go over there into that one, same as that one. They're not copper cords. They're copper coated inside them, but yeah, I'm going to put them in scrap metal. 
Right, that's those. That's got some weight in it. You can see the weight bending in that. So I take all the all the extruded alloy off and get it all off that way. Sit that there for now. Finish dealing with this. Take the speaker off. Put that into the scrap metal. Little circuit board there. Come back here, where'd you go? Not much in that. You can go into there. Throw stuff everywhere here. Another little circuit board down in there. Don't think I'll be able to get that one out. But we'll put that wire with that. Plastic in the bin. Another bit of wire there. Clear it all out. Right, I hope we have all the screws off. I'm hoping, because that's going to be a heavy piece. Uh, get a big screwdriver. That is monstrously heavy. Oh my god. Ouch, fingers. What's holding it? Nothing down this end. I think it might be the sheet of glass. I don't know whether they're glass or it's uh, like a polymer. It's certainly got some weight in it. That's a polymer, polymer glass. And it has gold recovery there. So I want to try and get that off. Um, damn, how am I going to do that? It has been scratched up a fair bit. It's got a gold sheet right down the side there. Damn. Probably got some across the top too. Might be best to leave that as it is. Not worry about that bit of gold recovery. Or is that in between too? It's in between two. The moment I start prying at that, that's going to crack and break because it is glass. Sort of a semi-glass stuff. So, that's about as far as I can go with that, everyone. Um, but yeah, like I said, these are... Oh, I might be lucky to pull that out. Leaving the gold behind, though. No, not on that one, I didn't. Ooh, we might be lucky here, everyone. Might be very lucky. We might do that. We might do that. I just found a way to get it out. On goes their music. They play music in the boats. Throw the plastic down. This has got some weight in it. Oh. Yeah, if I if I start prying it, that that's going to come off. Going to break. Start this end. Yeah, that's coming out. First time for everything. Whoop, told you to break. Don't want to do that. Look carefully, we'll get the gold. There's some gold in them TVs. It's all peeled off with it. All across there, look at that. So I've got the whole lot there. No one. Persevering. We will get it. Uh, 
It is fiddly. But if you can get it, try to get it as best you can. There's that little one. Little one might be better. Push it off. Not cut it off. There we go. There's another one. Turning round. So the main reason why I got the TV is because of the gold recovery. I knew what was in it, and I thought, yeah, okay. Oops, broke that piece. Glad I'm wearing my glasses. Don't want none of that in my eyes. Should be a quick trip to hospital. Another one. Is it worthwhile doing it? I reckon so. For the little bit of time that you do to put into it, the rewards are benefits. You know, you benefit in the long run by getting all of that. Because there is, is gold inside there as well. It's all gold plated inside, so. That's why I reckon it's worthwhile. It might be only 50% cop, um, not copper, gold. But if you can actually get it off in one streak, like I'm trying to, give it a yank straight out, it should all come out, because it's only held on by a bit of glue underneath. They glue it all on. I uh, don't know about these ones. They might be a bit different. It's got that white paste on them. No, I'm not going to be able to get those, or am I? Nothing on those. No, I can't see anything. They're just ordinary silver. So we'll spin him around and go the other side. Put that into there. I'm gonna have to leave that all intact onto that. So we're just about finished. I'll try and get that aluminium off later. Um, I'll go through and do these boards shortly. Ooh, this is a bit different, this one. Got the goo on each side. That was easier, a lot easier. Whoop, done that one already. I did leave some behind on that one. Um, you'll never get the whole lot. A bit on that one. And you wonder why plasmas are so dear. Gold plated. Right, all of that will go in this bucket over here. Yeah, that's got it on it. I had to check. Right, um, tossing back over, that bit of aluminium's on the other side. Hmm, be nice to try and get that off there, but I don't think I will. Probably bust the whole thing. 
because it's glued on and I don't want to mess. I missed one there. Did I? I did miss a bit there. Oh, let's see if I can get that. That's that bit I missed. Still got a little bit there I could probably get. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got some action happening. No. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, we'll leave it. Leave it. Continue on. Where's this bit of alloy? Down the bottom. Yeah. I might be best to leave it. Probably break the screen doing this. Go a smaller screwdriver. Yeah, that's actually stuck on there, so I'm going to have to leave it. It's a bit unfortunate, but you never get it all. It'll still go through anyway. Just degrades the aluminium. Okay, give it a tap. Supposed to do with screwdrivers, I don't know. Cold chisel. Oh, we might get it. Pop, pop. Started this in, so I might as well continue. Last two, and what the last three? It's that one. Oh, there's another one here. Another one here. We got it. We got it. By jolly G, we got it. Now, we'll grab a magnet. Find out if those tabs are actually metal. They are. So they have to come off. That's not hard. Just put them on the vise or, or something and flog them out. Quite simple to do. Put our magnet there. This is what I mean by flog them out.
last two. Right. Go along with the magnet, pick them up. in the bin don't miss any oh there's a couple down there pick them up your hand so that's another piece of that and we'll leave that as it is it's going to be a menace like it is not much I can do about it but it's going to add weight um, leaving it together is going to be a lot easier so anyway, let's get to, we've got that off. We don't need to worry about those. We know they're steel now that we tested them with the magnet. Um, we'll have a look at the power supply section first. Then we'll go to the smallest board to the biggest board. Give our bench a bit of a sweep. Started doing compressor motors out of fridges yesterday. A video coming up on that. How long it's going to take to cut so many apart. Right, what's that held together with? Not sure. Bit of solder, so we'll use the screwdriver because the outer casing is steel. Got to watch my fingers here. I want to find out if there's a little transformer in here. That's what it's about. Grab the grinder. Grinder's my best friend when it comes to this. was right there's copper inside it whenever you've got a cord going in there's always a reel of copper or something in there to transform it actually downgrades the power I think it downgrades it to about a 12 volt 13 volts something like that might be even 21 volts Yeah, good bit of copper in there. Get that out of there. Go along with the snips. Trying desperately to rain here. Humidity is probably around 100% at the moment. Real sticky. There's a bit of copper. All right, and we'll get our wires out too. We just chop them off at the outside. And then this can go into steel. See, those wires are copper. Oh, yes, they are. Let go there. That up there, that can go in the trash. Oh, no, I'll put it there. Put it there, son. Put it. 
Right, that's that one. Um, these will go to the big screwdriver. These ones here only need to be pried off with a big screwdriver. So I'm not depopulating it much. There is a bit of gold on that one. So we'll um, try and pry that chip off there. Same as that one. I don't know how I'll go getting the chips off. This one I'm doing all right. Got it without the chip. Go to the corner. Yep, got it without the chip. Nice bit of little heat sink there. Slight twist, that helps. Right, definitely got gold recovery under that. Try and get that off of there. I don't think I'd need to worry about it. No, that's got, hasn't even got a chip. Right, go through with the knife. Better hang on to that with a pair of pliers so I don't cut the old fingers. Learn the easy way, not the hard way, son. There we go, that chip can go with that. off that's all I'm taking off that because the rest is for gold recovery there is a few bits in here like there's a little bit of gold in there and in your points and that sort of thing especially on your ribbon so we'll leave that as it is that's that one all right these are a bit different we should only need to cut the corners off Cut these out. Lift it up, screwdriver underneath. Doesn't damage the board then. Because you're pulling the actual holders off. go and pull them out of there like if you get some cord in there I just grab my side cutters grab on it don't prise too hard on them pull it out because they're steel they are the steel section of it the extruded alloy the more steel you leave in them the, the less price you'll get that's what I've always thought. So if you can get it out, you might as well try and get it out. If you can possibly get it. I'm having trouble with this one. <sighs> try not to bust your fingers on it. you've got the time take your time doing it come on out you come I'll deal with that one later put him aside get to and do the rest first I reckon. Move those out of the road. 
Well, it does take the weight down. But I'd rather get the aluminium first and worry about the gold. Gold's my last option at the moment. I won't take it in until I've probably got a fair substantial amount, which I have nowhere near. Like I've only just started in the last two, three months getting the gold and gold recovery and that sort of thing. I'm not going to go and do all the chemical stuff and what I've seen on some of the YouTubes and that sort of thing. Yeah. Even though gold's in a very high price, 200 and something odd dollars an ounce. Something like that, I was told. That was just yesterday, so it's probably changed by today. Come on, off you come. Thank you. <coughs> Getting there, we're Right, we've only got one little piece of copper here to get. Lift him up, cut one side. That way we're not breaking the board. Cut the other side. And that's that board. Oh no, we've got some here. We've got seven there. So, uh, they're good bits of... That one there, that one there. Leave the ceramic on there. I think that's what they call it. A fair bit that goes into these. I'd hate to make these, especially by hand. All right, well, that's that board done. Most certainly done now. I'm not taking no more of it. Now we're getting into the technical stuff. Two up there, we'll take those two first in that one, and then we'll get into the aluminium. That's that one, that one, oh, go underneath it. That's 
that one. Right, now, don't know why I keep picking that up. Gonna pick that up. Not gonna pull it off. Gotta cut them off. There we go, clicky click. Go away, mosquito. Musquatus. Vampire, whatever you wanna be called. Suck a blood. Come and suck your blood. You're not sucking my blood. That one. Get the hell off me. Go find someone else to vampire on. Plenty of other candidates around here at the moment. Just don't suck my blood. Struggle with the thing. Pretty warm day here. That worked out better. Let's get to and pull all these metals off later. I'll bring this back when I've onto the next board. Right, so I finished processing the other board. I found no gold in it whatsoever, so I just processed it for copper and aluminium. Um, had a recess of this one. Uh, there is no actual gold in it. Um, so we'll be just processing it for the copper and the aluminium same process so what i've done is i've already started loosening some of the stuff off to make it quicker for everyone to see what's there but it's all still intact how you how i took it off um so we've got a fair bit of copper in these uh there's copper in these little ones too there's another one i think i've seen somewhere yeah there's another one there um these three transformers will take them off as well and these four here uh, but I'll fl flip them over to actually do those. I might be able to get them from this side. I've only got to cut the ends off and we'll put them over in our copper pile. Uh, but what we'll do first is we'll get all the extruded aluminium off. Um, like I said, I've already started. Try and speed our process up a little bit here. So the board will be going into scrap metal. I've got to get them off. Don't know how I'll get them off. Put that there. Twist him off. I've already gone through and had the liberty of taking all of these tabs that hold the, these tabs here off the others. So I'll just separate the pile. Ah, uh, where are we up here? Go. On there. You slippery sucker.
makes it so much quicker. Right, now these ones here, though, those blue ones will leave there. Uh, but these ones here, we'll take those. Take them completely off. We might be able to do them with pliers, multi grips. Give them a yank. Multi grips and side cutters. Where are they going? There. I don't know what's quicker. Screwdriver or multi grips? Probably screwdriver. That's what it's looking like. Screwdriver's quicker. Let's pry it up. Get it up so we can get a grip on it. Now they come to, what have I done? They're sitting on the board. Comes to these ones. They just come apart like so. Get the screwdriver in here. Break them off. What else have we got left? Just those eight. Eight is it? Uh, yeah, seven. Seven or eight. Easy forward. Grab that one. Right, now we we'll go to with the side cutters. Said I might be able to get them from underneath, but I might be able to get them from the top. Sell those as direct transformers as they are. It does take a lot out of it. Oh, well, this will be easier.
down to here. that board done not much else I can take off it I'll put this in as scrap metal um, oh there's another one there another one right in the center a little transformer right in the center and another one there geez I'm missing two that over there uh, so tatters Yeah, I definitely think that's it. Can't see no more. Glasses are on. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's definitely going as scrap metal. We'll put that into there. Now, we did get a fair bit out of this in extruded alloy. Um, it might look much. I don't know what it would weigh. There's a fair bit there. Still got to process some of this stuff. Uh, this is what, what I was talking about process take the tabs out Quick and simple they're a metal tab Some are already gone So we don't have to worry about too many It is hard on hands You get used to it Oh, that side one first seem he's gone so on So now I'll get that in. I don't know. Oh, that was simple. Just pull them out. There we go. Right, that's all the aluminium. All the extruded aluminium. Um, got a board over here that I actually looked at. And uh, it's out of the TV as well. And the Samsung TV that we've been doing and it does not have any gold on it whatsoever really assessed it had a look at it and no a lot of a lot of little bits of copper um, but that's about all not much else so he'll go into a scrap of steel as well um, we got a fair bit of copper out of that good little pile sell these ones as transformers I don't pull them apart all those little ones there, but all this one, that one will go there too. That one will go over there, same as that little one. Uh, but I'll get two and take all that copper apart there. Get two with a hammer, smack them apart and all that sort of thing. These little ones here, I've got a little bucket that I've started in there. I'll have a process of chopping them apart and getting the, that out of there. We did finalise on getting this all done. Um... Now with our cord, I know this is going backwards, where we should have started. Uh, with the cord, we just chop it off here. That goes in the trash. I don't hang on to the ends. They go into scrap metal. Um, but when it comes down to this piece here, what I do with that is I go around with the standing knife Oh, it's got copper and uh, not copper um silver 
silver paper inside it. Gonna be a pain in the butt cord to get apart. There we go. And I just pull them off like that. Uh, this other is just crap. So we'll attend to that when we get to it. I uh, haven't got many of those to strip out. Uh, we've been taking the outer casings off these to just reveal our wire. So we're only taking in just the wire. We've got a full bin down there, full wheelie bin. Um, bit of aluminium and some gold recovery. So that's what happens and what's actually, I should say not what happens, that's what's actually in a plasma TV. I'm not taking the glass off them. Uh, that's going to add a bit of weight for the steel. There's not much else I can take off. That's steel. So, yeah, I've got the aluminium off like that. So, yeah, not much else to say. But um, if you've come this far in the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. And, yeah, hope you enjoyed tagging along on this one, pulling a Samsung plasma TV apart. So I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.